Welcome in New Year and today we have second question from my subscriber on email. Mr. Alessandro asked me how to make the script to modify some values, some tags using one script and after this we write data into final tag. Let's make this solution step by step. So we create one group from QA second and we have tag one AAA, tag second etc. So we have 10 tags and these tags we want to update with one script. I put some IO fields on screen so I can prepare some data. Let's, uh, I did the fast mode so you, you can't be bored about this. After I prepare this option, we go with uh, one script. It will be Visual Basic script. And with this script, we want to update this data. We create also one tag as a add value. So we make the add value into our tags and we summarize this data with one script. Okay, let's make the WinCC runtime run running. And let's check this. So our IO fields should be the decimal point and our add value is also normal decimal. Okay, let's put one, two, three, four and until 10. So we have everything prepared before we go with our script. As you see on tag management, we see the value and we can create some modification. Everything is running. Let's go to Visual Basic Script and let's create one solution for this. Visual Basic Script action and we need to prepare some internal tags inside this script. First of all, we need something like prefix. Second one, we want to put some suffix. So we have some point before number in my tag and something after the number in my tag. So, as you know, the tag name is prefix plus x plus suffix. As you see on screen, it's something like this. So our tag is going with this format data. We need to put the prefix value. For me, it will be the tag. It's, it's only the tag as a prefix. It's a string value. And the string value is, is tag. And x value will be, for example, one. And the suffix will be AAA. We need to get this from the tag management system so we know exactly how it's working okay so our first tag name will be tag one aaa i hope you understand why and this is the simplest version of this script now let's display this tag name as a message box in WinCC runtime so we see exactly how it's running okay oh we can't use the x value we need to change something let's make the xx to don't break our script so we have the xx everything is working no error and let's run this in wincc runtime okay as you see i have tag one aa now let's open the wincc visual basic script and let's change this script for better understand how to write data into our final tag. So hmerunTime.tags and inside this we need to put tag1 AA and write data for example let's say 100 and this line in the script should update our tag1 value into 100 and we should have this prepared. Let's run with CC runtime. It's still message box the same. And our value in tag one is 100. 
Now let's change this line to make the tag one AAA comes from our configure tag name. So we created one tag with script and we make the value. Oh, yeah, I need to change the 100 to something else. It will be 99. And when we run WinCC runtime, we should change the value to 99. So this script can change the value of tag we did with script. It's only one tag. We could also make the, a lot of lines in this Visual Basic script and make a lot of jobs. But let's say, if you like to program something, we should use the programming language. Let's use for function and this for function we can make the 4 to 100, 1000 element, it doesn't matter for us. As you see, I use the code templates and now you see that I put the xx from 1 to 10 and inside this statement we need to make something. So I want to push the tag name creation every time 4 is running. Ok, let's create something. Hmm. Maybe let's first the display the value name, the tag name uh, inside our message box so we know how it's working. And let's comment all different kind of our scripts. So now we should have from 1 to 10 changing the xx and we should display the message box with this new name. Let's run this. Ok, something doesn't work. We need to go back to Visual Basic Script. What can be the problem of this solution? Ok, I see. Uh, xx is the string and this string can't be used as a string and a decimal value. So we need to comment this line. Ok, let's run this again. No error. Ok, still doesn't work. We need to find the next problem. Ok, CSTR is the function to co convert data from decimal to string because our tag name is made with three different strings prefix, x and suffix. After this we have tag1 AAA, tag3 because I did one mistake more. I put the xx is xx plus 1. We don't need to use this. Our for function is incrementing the xx automatically. As you see, now we have the tag1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we created the for function in one button to display our new final tag creation with script. Now the simple script let's change and let's add the final tag updating with our add value so we know exactly how to create the full working script from this question I had on my email list. So, first of all, we need to read data from add value tag from tag management. This add value is on my screen. We can put some summary, we make some sum of this value, and the value is inside our tag name value. So, we put the read data from our tag name. So we want to read data from tag name. We want to add into this tag name the add value. And after all, 
we want to write this data directly to our tag name. So we just update the value in our tag name. So inside the right, we want to put the sum. So we updating data inside our tag. Let's save. We don't have any errors and let's run this WinCC runtime with this functionality. Okay, after we put the button and our add value is 11, we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, etc. After next, we updating all data with just one script and for example, when I put one in add value, it's updating data by one. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel, join my mailing list so you have access to my knowledge. You can ask me the question and if you have good question, we can make your video on this channel. See you and bye.